For the next hour, you belong to us. We'll bring you the very best in unpicked, unsigned rock and metal. Don't worry, you're in safe hands. We are too much. Well, there you go. I've thrown together a new opening for the show. What do you reckon? Let me know on Facebook. If you don't like it, I can always go back to the old one. All of you can have a go. I don't mind. I've just been trawling through Facebook. Found myself on the page of our Italian rock monsters, Venus Mountains. And guess what? They're coming back to the UK. 1st of May, they're at Charlie's Pub. That's in Westbury. On the 3rd of May, they're in a to-be-confirmed location in London. And sandwiched in between those, on the 2nd of May. They're only at the Lower George in Gloucester, aren't they? Two books have gone intercontinental and ballistic. And we've invited Frax, Thunder Met, Sex Docs and Morris back to the UK. So lock up your women folk. This is Venus Mountains with a track from their album called Night of Fire.
rather oversexed, over hairy, and uh, over in Italy at the moment. But that's all to change in May next year. That's Venus Mountains. That particular slice of Italian rock is called Night of Fire. Well, look at this, it's nearly the end of October already. Only a couple of months of the year left. Not even going to mention the, um, the... Oh, no, not even going to mention it towards the end of the year. Oh, no. But, um, yeah, we've done some amazing stuff this year. We've had a good number of bands from the Two Box Stable on at Rock Diabetes this year. Apparently did very, very well. Um, unfortunately, I had to miss it this year. I had to miss it last year as well. But next year, I'm definitely working on getting to it. And I'm hoping that these guys will be there again next year. Black Acid Souls, Vinny's just sent me their new album. It is awesome, to be honest. I'd only had a couple of tracks from them previously, but now I have plenty of tracks to choose from. So I'm going to take the title track, which is also the band name, pretty much because I'm fairly impressed with it. So, this is Black Acid Souls, with the title track from their self-titled album, Black Acid Souls. So that's Black Acid Souls. The track is called Black Acid Souls, uh, as is the album. 
Now another band that I'm pretty sure took rock diabetes by storm, because every time I've seen them they've just taken everything they've done by storm, are Fury. If you haven't got that album The Lightning Dream yet, you really really should get it. I was going to play the title track, but um, it's nearly 12 minutes long, so probably not a good idea on an hour show. But what they have included on the album is a reworked version of a previous single, in fact my favourite of all their songs, Warrior's Prayer. So I'm going to play that for you now, in a, a vain effort to get you to go and buy this album. So here it is, this is the album version of Warrior's Prayer. Really, do yourself a favour and go and get a copy.
That is just fantastic. In fact, a bit of weak, eh, mate? That is Warrior's Prayer, the album version from Fury's album, The Lightning Dream. I'm going to have to go and turn the lights out and fan myself with a copy of uh, Total Guitar magazine. So while I'm doing that, here's a little bit of freeway mad for you to listen to. This is She's Got. <laughs> They say a boss was meant to buy this girl's got both of those They say you can't put up a fight, they ain't seen the way I roll I see her in the front row, I see the way she moves I grab her after the show, I say this is how it goes She's got
Oh, that's better. Balance now restored. That was Freeway Mad. She's got. I had the pleasure of doing the same for them when they came to Gloucester. What an awesome bunch of guys they are, really. And Two Books had an awesome couple of gigs last weekend. Um, there was John, John Virgo and the guys from We Come From Ashes. They destroyed the two pigs in Cheltenham with support from Maud Drake and Oakheart. That I managed not to blow anything up at the Lower George, taking care of the sound for Rolling Sixes, Lex Umbra and the Eighth Bridge. Both awesome nights, I have to say. Whichever one you were at, although you had an awesome night, you also missed an awesome gig. Now, unfortunately, although I have the weekend off, I won't be able to get to the gig that's on this weekend at the Lower George. This Saturday, the 25th, features probably one of the most brutal lineups we've ever had. The show will be kicking off at 8 o'clock again with We Come From Ashes. Pretty much a home gig for them. Then two bands from Wales, renowned for ripping stages apart. Among the Dead and Black Taminus. And you guys have got to be exceptionally fit, because after those three neck-breaking bands, your headliners are Cambian. They are travelling all the way from Devon, and they will be expecting a huge amount from you. So, best you've got it left. These guys aren't renowned for taking prisoners. So my advice to you is while the first three bands are on, you get some practicing done. Get some beer in, do some headbanging, thrash about a bit, but make sure you've got enough left for Cambian at the end. So let's have a track from each band, just to get you in the mood for the weekend. We'll start with We Come From Ashes. Might as well do it in order, mightn't I? And we're still on demos for We Come From Ashes. The EP's not quite ready yet, but the demos are good anyway. So uh, the EP is going to be fantastic. This is Cruel. Time! 
As we come from Ashes, they'll be opening the show, and you know how good they are live. And we come from Ashes, we'll be giving way to the Welsh stage wreckers, Among the Dead. Oh, and just as a point of interest, if you go to Among the Dead's Facebook page, there's a link to a little interview that Gavin did with Uber Rock for the cheeky little feature that they called Horrifying 13 Days of Halloween. It's well worth a read. Now go on, think about that while I'm playing the track. And then after the show's finished, you can go and read it. And I think, in keeping with the uh, interview theme, this track is called Bleed Out. Yeah. 
Among the Dead. They'll be warming the stage up for the most excellent Black Taminus. And don't be afraid to go up and have a chat with the guys from Black Taminus. Um, even with tracks like Decapitated and Blood, Bone and Boil. They're actually really nice people. And I can say that because I won't be there to face the backlash. Well, not this time anyway. And I'm, but I'm sure they won't forget that. So again, to keep you in the mood for reading the Halloween interview that Gavin did at Uber Rock. This is one of the aforementioned tracks from the uh, Tacoma album. It is Decapitated.
There's Black Taminus, down tuned so far, really that only Barry White can match them. And whales all around the world are raising a metaphorical eyebrow, I'm wondering what that noise was. With a track from their Tacoma album, that is called Decapitated. So, after those three, you should be well and truly warmed up for your headline act. Now for those of you that don't know Cambian, let me give you a little bit of a rundown. They'll be coming up from Exeter. They are Elliot, lead guitar and lead vocals. Mark on guitar. Johnny on bass. And Frank on drums. In 2012 they hit the stage at Bloodstock. They also played Techfest in Peterborough. And they won Best Breakthrough Act at the Southwest Music Awards. Last year they were in Germany at Euroblast Fest alongside Meshuga of all people. This year, amongst some other exciting stuff, they're playing the Lower George in Gloucester, and next year they're hoping to have their debut album released. So you can't accuse them of not working for what they got. So now you know a little bit more about them, now you need to know what they sound like. This is a track from their last EP, it's called Virus. Oh, 
So that's what you can expect from Cambion. That's from their current EP. It's called Virus. And as you can tell, even with just one track from each band, that's going to be a hell of a gig. So please enjoy it responsibly, and don't rub in the fact that I couldn't go to it on Facebook. Please. Right, moving on, but not too far actually. Um, this next band are from the same stable as Cambion, Enzo Music Management. Um, the big shout to Rachel Harrison for this, to be honest. She's got some awesome bands. And these next guys are a dual-fronted prog rock band from Bournemouth. They are Teresa Smith on vocals, Jut Tabor taking the other vocals, Ollie Roberts and Jimmy Alford on guitars, Mike West on bass, and James Clark on drums. And when they're all together in that formation, they're known as Meta Prism. And even though this is quite an old track, it's still a bit good. This is called Even the Lights.
Oh yes, that's one of those tracks that doesn't fade out. <laughs> it just sort of stops. That was Meta Prism, even the lights. I think it's about time for our guest band, to be honest. This week's guest band are from the West Midlands, the Black Country, home of rock. They're called Tyrannosaurus Nebulus, and they are Justin on vocals, Matt and Paul on guitars, Lee on bass, and Jay on drums. Their debut EP is called Never Gonna Be. It's available now on Amazon, iTunes, Spotify, you name it, you can get it from there. And this is a track from it called Hearts Against the Wall. <laughs> So that's your guest band for this week, Midland-based Tyrannosaurus Nebulus. And that brings us to the end of the show. I'm going to play you out with a track from Left for Red, from their EP Mercy Flight. And I know we've slightly overrun, but it's my show, and you're still here, so who cares really? Just indulge me for another five minutes or so. This is Left for Red, finishing the show with the title track from their EP Mercy Flight. And that's it from me. I'm out of here.
Yeah.